Right guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. In this one I'm just going to be showing you how to replace your Shimano square taper bottom bracket with a Holotech 2 bottom bracket. So if you want to upgrade from one of these on your road bike to one of these to fit a later group set, then I'll show you how. So here we have the chain set we need to remove. Like I said, this is square taper using square taper bottom bracket. So if you want to upgrade from this to one of the later Shimano group sets, say, could it be a Claris, Sora, Tiagra, 105, or Tigra, or Durace? It doesn't matter which one, as long as it's using the Holotech 2 bottom bracket, like they do, then your options with this are limited. So if you've got like a 90s road bike or later, even up to the modern, day even, they still use them, square tapers, then to upgrade you need to change the bottom bracket from the square taper to a Holotech 2 if you want to run the Shimano. So this is a square taper, like I said, you've got the nut in the middle there, a hex head, and well, there's one of them on either side. So that gives the game away, so that's going through and bolting into an, the bottom bracket. Now, to undo that, they normally an 8mm hex head, Allen key. So to undo it, you just want to hold on your crank arm, get an 8mm. You could use a, a socket as well with a ratchet if you've got one. Locate that in there and just hold the crank arm, then undo the hex head. It's anti clockwise to undo it. So once you've undone that, what you can do is wind that nut. out and you've got a thread on there looks like that just a bolt going in to the, holding this on to the bottom bracket even if you remove that you're not going to get that arm off they won't come off because they're pushed on that nut's pulling it on to a taper so it won't come off even if you undo it you can hit it with a hammer or whatever you want to do and it still won't come off so what you need is a tool like this now, some of them have an arm on them like this, and others don't. Some of them just have a nut on there, what you use a ratchet on to wind the centre in. So before you try and get this off, make sure that the threads in here, where you just remove that bolt from, are clean. Because they can get dirty over time. Because the threads, obviously, are not used on here. For anything the thread goes right into the center there you want the threads on the end here this isn't threaded on the end the threads here are just used to remove it so if you haven't had yours apart before the dirt can get in there and they can get fouled up so make sure they're all cleaned out first because that's aluminium and the tool is normally steel so if you cross thread it in there then you'll damage it all so basically what you do is you wind this in with the threads there into there and then when you do up the handle or if you've got a nut on the end of there and you do up it with a ratchet the centre goes through as you can see that just moves in the centre will come out and pushes on the end of the bottom bracket so what you want to do is wind this in Like I said, to make sure that it's clockwise to do it up, but make sure that when you're doing it, you actually feel that it's starting in there nice and square. And it's not cross threading. Because like I said, if you cross thread it, then you damage it before you even start. So get that squared up in there like that. To start with, you might have to put a little bit of grease on the threads as well on here just help it go in so you get that wound in there so now we got it started just wind it in like that basically until it stops and then once you've done that then you can wind in or do up the nut on the end which uh, however yours is you wind the center in until it stops like that 
stop moving. Now just hold on your crank arm and do this up and it'd be tight because it's pushing in and it's pulling off the arm. So keep on pulling it round. It may be very stiff to move so you might need, if yours got a nut on it, you might need a bigger ratchet or a bar even on it to undo it. So you just keep doing it up and then once it's gone in like that the chain set there will just become loose and it'll come off like that. So you have the end of it, so your tool's still in there so you can just back the tool out like that, unwind it and then undo your centre piece there and there you have the arm off what we do is I'll just quickly spin it round and show you the other side. So the same thing applies to the left hand side. So just hold on your arm, undo the bolt in the middle. Like that. Just wind that out. And then with your tool again, making sure again that your threads are clean. Start your tool off in there, wind it all the way in again till it stops and do up your arm all the way in till it stops again and just keep pulling on it, screwing it in like that and slowly it pull the arm off. There you go. And then just undo your tool again, back that out. Now you have the arm. So once you remove that, then you can see the bottom bracket in there. Now the tool for undoing that looks like that. So that'll locate in there. See in there like that. Now, what you find is on the left hand side, run do this side first, just crack it undone. Now, this side here, the plastic, they can be plastic, this nut in the end. There's a cartridge will come out from the other side where the chain rings were, your drive side. This is just a plastic nut on here. So, Make sure that it's, you've cleaned out any dirt that's in there because it needs to be a good fit to get it to come undone properly because it could be tight. So make sure you've cleaned it up so it slides in nice at all. Then we'll undo that. So what we've got is a socket to go with the tool. Now you can also just put, if you've got a big adjustable spanner, you could use an adjustable spanner on there to undo it if needs be. We're just using a socket and a bar so it's anti-clockwise to undo this side. Just pull up on your bar and undo that once it starts to undo. You might be able to just undo it with the socket. Just wind it out all the way. There we have it there. So now you remove that side, we go ahead and start on the and remove the whole bottom bracket cartridge from the right hand side. Right, so same again on this side, just locate your tool, make sure that your teeth in there are clean. This side will be metal on the drive side. So you put your tool in. And you need your socket in your bar again or a big adjustable if you've got whichever you've got. Let's put that in there and then this side will be the opposite. So this side is clockwise 
will be undoing it so once you've undone it break it undone so you may need a big bar on it to undo it if you haven't had yours apart before make sure you're holding the tool with your hand so it doesn't slip or anything just get it started you may need to wind it out all the way with the ratchet or once it's come loose a few turns you might be able to get it out by just by uh, just having the socket on there with the tool or just use the tool to undo it so just carry on so this side just carry on undoing it now if you're undoing this and it's not coming undone or you're having trouble you've undone it and you can't pull the bottom the whole cartridge out it's stuck in there or you think it's stuck in there if you've got a bike with external cables coming down then underneath here on the outside there should be a screw that's locating your cable guide underneath your bottom bracket especially if it's an older bike who have got external cables so it'd be what you need to do is undo that screw almost right the way out because that will be just trapping the the cartridge in there and you wonder why you can't get it out so if you slacken that off then you'll be able to pull it out So you just get a screwdriver and just undo it. So as it's loose, so the cable guy's loose underneath, and then you carry on undoing it. and then you'll find that you can pull it out so it'll come out the complete cartridge like that so once you remove that I'll just show you the uh, two side by side so we have the square taper bottom bracket now we got it removed if you can see on your one it'd be written somewhere or if not you can measure it I'll show you how to do that but if you see on this one you can just make out what's left of it there's a 68 there so that's 68 millimeter bottom bracket shell so if you get yours tape measure like that just hold it on there it's going to be roughly 68 mil across roughly so if you get that and then you get the Shimano Holotech 2 road bottom bracket when you put the tape measure on there it's going to be roughly give or take 68 millimeter all you do is measure across your frame and then it'll be 68 millimeter for the road frame so that's one thing and then when you look on these they normally have, and I'll show you it on the Holotech 2 as well, bottom bracket, somewhere written on it there, as you can see, it's 1.37 by 24. The same as what's written on there, 1.37, obviously you can't see a 24 as it's worn away, but it's the same. So that's how you know that that is going to fit in the hole in your frame and it's going to thread in there okay so I'll just explain what that actually means so here we have the frame so like I said you can measure across the bottom bracket where the shell is where it's going to fit into there so that'll be 68 millimeters across there and then like I showed on the two bottom brackets they both had you see there 1.37 by 24 road is written on there and that's exactly what's written on 
the square type of bottom bracket it could be written anywhere on it like I said earlier it could be written on the ends or in the middle and that basically what that means is the 24 is 24 threads per inch so TPI threads per inch in the actual shell there and then the 1.37 is if you measure it that's in inches that's the whole size like that so you put that on there like that it'll be somewhere between the one and a quarter and one and a half inch if you hold that on there like that so that's the whole size there and then 24 is like I said 24 threads per inch that's how you know that your frame would accept the Holotech 2 bottom bracket so you can update your crank set so it's just a case of getting this fitted in so what you want to do first is make sure all your threads in there are clean so clean it out with degreaser clean round in there even a little small wire brush in there and just gently clean that round make sure that the threads are nice and clean before we start to install it so with the holotech bottom bracket what you've got is a left you see the L on there and an R on the other side so left and right so the right being the side where your chain rings are going to go so they basically come apart in three bits like that so when it's together make sure that the center piece it's got left and right written on there as well in the middle to make sure the L is corresponding with the left hand cup like that what you want to do before you put this in so you start on the, the right hand with the right hand cup so what you want to do first is make sure that you get a good amount of grease on your finger and put around the threads in your bottom bracket shell there to start with put a, if it hasn't got any grease on it put some grease around the threads on the cup and without the plastic piece in the middle put grease up inside here as well run some grease around in there like that and then with your plastic piece for the middle making sure that the R is lining up with the right hand side push that in there like that make sure you've got some grease again enough on the shell itself before you go and put it in so just slide that in like that and then obviously this side is anti-clockwise is doing it up like that make sure it starts nice and clean don't cross thread it whatever you do so just take your time if it's not going in right just take your time to make sure this going in nice and easy so go in a little way and they'll just become a bit tighter like that and then you just get your tool which is Shimano Holotech tool in bottom bracket tool like that do it up with so you can just carry on using that tool until it stops by hand and then in the end you can either use a socket or a adjustable spanner on there to do it up with so we just do that up And what you do is tighten it up. If you haven't got a torque wrench, then just do it up tight. If you have, then torque it up to the manufacturer's spec on it. 
So normally 40 newton meters for that if you've got a torque wrench big enough to do it with. Then we'll move on to the other side. So the same on the left hand side, make sure you've got a lot of grease on the cup before you put it in. And make sure also that your threads are nice and clean in there. Put it on the threads and then like I said put some grease down inside where it's going to go onto the plastic spacer just helps it go in on to there and it helps keep the moisture out as well so this side is normal thread so if you're doing it up clockwise just get that started in there wind that in and then use your tool to tighten it up So that's the bottom bracket installed. So now we just go ahead and install the chain set. So here we have the Shimano chain set. This just happens to be an Ortegra. Like I say, it doesn't matter which one it is. All the same for fitment. So first of all, the axle. Make sure you grease the axle before you put it in. wipe some grease over that and then you put it through from the right hand side so we just slide that through from the right hand side so you get it started and just slide it all the way through like that making sure that it's gone through so make sure it's touching in there as close as you can get you give it a tap with the palm of your hand on there to make sure and on the arm where it's come through the spindle through the middle just put a bit of grease if it hasn't got any already over the splines on the end there before you go ahead and fit the arm so with the left hand arm make sure before you fit it you see the plastic in the centre there make sure that tab is raised up proud of the arm otherwise you won't be able to slide it on make sure the bolts are loosened off as well the five millimeter hex heads so you just fit it opposite to that arm so if that arm's going down like that you fit it opposite there's a bigger slot on the top there that corresponds with the one in the arm when you look inside the arm so you just put that on like that and it will slot it should go straight on there like that so once you've got that on there you can get the nut it goes in the middle so you've got the nut for the centre and a tool like that to fit it there's various tools like this available some come on spanners some are just like that so it's just a hollow tech 2 crank in, um, installing tool that is so then the plastic nut Start that in the middle, and then wind it in until it just stops. So once it just stops moving, then you just pinch it up a little bit. There's no need to go tightening this up because if you tighten that up, you put too much load on the bearings and the crank won't spin because you put too much load on it so basically you just do that up a little bit and just nip it up and that's enough so once you've done that you can push down the plastic tab that's sticking up there push that down so it's flush with the top of the arm so when you've done that what you do then is get your five millimeter hex and just nip up one bolt at a time just do them even like that 
nip that one until it stops and just give it a tweak up and go back to that side. Don't just do one up all at the same time. Just go do the other one up like that. And then you want to torque those up. So 12 to 14 newton meters on those. So you just get your torque wrench and then torque those up. Once you've done that, once they're torqued up, then what you want to do is just get hold of the arm and just rock it, holding the frame, just rock it backwards and forwards. Make sure you can't feel any play in there. If you can feel any play, then you need to slacken off those two five millimeters again and then just do up the centre nut there just a little bit just tweak it up a little bit more if you can feel any movement in it like I say don't go over tightening it and then that's the installation of the Holotech 2 with the chain set complete so I hope you found the video helpful if you did remember to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more cycle related content till next one ride safe and I'll see you then